Welcome to Tech is a New Black, where we give you the latest in technology so you can stay ahead of the curve. Today we're here with Vice President of Managing Cloud Services, David Powell, and we're going to talk about all the new spring tech releases. I know one thing I've heard so much about is the iWatch and, you know, when's it coming out? It's supposed to be any yeah. day now, I guess. But um, besides that, what are some other neat tech releases coming out this spring? So the big hot thing that everyone's talking about are the watches. So not only do you have the Apple Watch that's been, you know, thought about, I guess, for like a couple of years now, yeah. it seems like, you know, that's coming out. And then you've got everyone else that came out with watches. So the Pebble's coming out with a new update, which looks really slick. And then Samsung has one. So you can see a lot more of that whole wearable kind of trend coming in the spring. And the Apple Watch is really going to bring a lot of attention to that. Gotcha. What about phones? Are there any new phone releases that we should be aware about? Yeah, so all the Apple people, you know, love it when a new iPhone comes out, but yeah. the Android people really get excited about new phones too and sure. the Samsung S6 and the HTC One are both coming out with like brand new phones and they basically are saying they're redesigned from the ground up mm -hmm. so there's a lot of excitement in the Android community around those two phones um, coming out. Now are they getting bigger like the iPhone? Yeah every, all the phones are getting to be a little you know um, like you're holding a tablet up to your head so yeah. they're all getting bigger. Gotcha yeah. okay and what about um, virtual reality? I know there's some really neat things for gamers out there and people that like virtual reality. Yeah this is some of the cool stuff that's really coming is the Oculus Rift. Um, Mark Zuckerberg bought it for two billion dollars and it's this headset you know that you put on but I had a chance to demo that recently and the immersive aspect of it is tremendous. So um, I was riding on like a roller coaster thing and if yeah. you turn all the way around 360 degrees you can see and it creates this sense of that you're in it and so they're talking about that in like immersive movies, mm -hmm. immersive video games, potentially concerts so you could feel like you're at the concert and then even other like real practical applications like medicine and telemedicine things like that. So mm -hmm. the virtual reality piece and the Oculus stuff looks really cool and it's just a great piece of technology that there's a wide range of potential uses out there. I look forward to seeing how they use it. Sure. So not, it's not just for gamers. It's it's for practical purposes. That's right. It like. That's right. So which one are you the most excited to to see release? Yeah, I'm really pretty excited about the Oculus okay. thing. You know, it's just one of those things that's different than anything else. Oh, it's a phone. It's a little bit bigger. You're like, eh. But, you know, with that whole immersive experience is something new. So um, I think that the people are really going to enjoy kind of seeing how they evolve that. Sure. What do you think is going to be the biggest flop, I guess? I know the, <laughs> yeah. there's one about a bendable phone. I don't know if that's... Yeah, I, I've never really needed a bendy phone and, sure. you know, these bendable screens. But the one that I keep hearing about is the bigger iPad. And I yeah. don't really know that there's a use case, you know, for that. When personally, you know, I have a couple of iPads and stuff. And when I need something bigger, I just pull out my MacBook. Sure. And so, a, you know, the benefit of having a tablet is it's portable. It's easy to throw in your bag and stuff. And right. a bigger one, I don't really know what the use case on that is. But everything, you know, keeps getting bigger. Bigger phones, bigger tablets. But at some exactly. point, you think kind of reaches the ridiculous where maybe we don't need something quite that big. Sure. Well, good to know. We'll be out on the lookout for those new spring releases, yeah. and I'll be uh, interested to see when you get your Oculus. <laughs> yeah, so. I'll look a little weird walking around with it, but it'll be cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in to Tech is the New Black. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more, or follow us online at techlinks.com.